what is all this? And he, who are you? And why, why are you watching this? <laughs> it's weird to think that I used to do one of these every week and sometimes multiple per week. Now it's like, what? It's like, I haven't done a video in like a month. Surprised they even remember how to set everything up. Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm SB Mitch. You can give me a follow on social media stuff here. I only use Twitter, but the rest of it is there because I just copy and paste things in editing because it's easier. You could also subscribe to the channel for, I don't really know why anyone would subscribe to the channel anymore with the infrequent videos, but hey, whatever, do it if you want. Hello, pals. <laughs> this is like, I haven't filmed a bit of Beaterbox video in like a month. This might actually be the last Beaterbox for ever or a while. I don't really know, cause uh, we're moving in like a month and a half and we really don't know where we're moving yet. So TBD, that's right. Tyler's beautiful dad. <laughs> Welcome to Beater Box Friday for the first time in like a month and a half. This box is from Soul Supremacy, soulsupremacy.com at Soul Supremacy on Twitter and Instagram. They're under new ownership right now, but it's the people that used to work there. So it's not really like it's under new ownership. It's just under different ownership. This box cost $850 plus $50 to ship it here to Chicago, Illinois for a grand total of 800, nope, $900. <laughs> Forgot how to do math in that time too. Uh, Clarence, are you still alive? Hey. Cool. The counter is still alive, so that's neat. Uh, let's open the box and see what's going on in here. Uh, Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't opened a box in a really long time and I kind of got excited about opening this box. It's got delivered last Friday. It is now Monday night and this thing has been sitting over in my corner, uh, kind of mocking me the whole time. If you haven't seen, here's the last box. It was okay, but boxes have been wildly inconsistent based on what other members are showing me and other videos I've seen. So let's hope we get a good one. It's very possible we'll get a bad one because bad ones happen more frequently now. Okay. Doesn't look like there's many shoes in here, but they all look like bigger sizes, so that's actually okay. There is one pair without a box. It is an Adidas. It is a size US Men's 12. I believe I suck at Adidas. I will say that. I think this is a Kith collaboration, and I think these are called like Aspen. It's an Ultra Boost Mid. RJ. Oh, RF. Ronnie Feig. So it is a Kith collaboration. I believe these are called Aspen. These were absolutely super sought after back when Boost was a thing that hype beasts wore all the time. Now it's just worn by people that appreciate a comfortable shoe, which I can't knock anyone for doing. These are worn. You can see the outsole is all white, but it is uh, a little bit, a little bit uh, discolored from wear. There doesn't seem to be much like tread loss or anything like that, which is really good because these, uh, a lot of people that used to want these back in the day can afford them now because they're actually worth a lot less on the secondary market. But it's your first pair. It's a size 12 Kith Adidas Ultra Boost Mid Aspen colorway without a box. And they're in pretty decent shape. Hey, if you want to buy those or any of the other shoes in this box, they'll be on my website today at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can find that website by going to sbmitch.com. Also look out for a Brick 66 run coming very soon because I'm sure it'll happen. Ooh, someone's fast. All right, so we got the rest have boxes. This is an off-white box because it's got Swiss cheese holes all over it. We got a size women's 13 and a half, which translates to a men's 12 roughly. Women's Nike Zoom Terra Tiger 5 off-white collaboration. Uh, this is a worn pair. It looks like they did cut off the little spiky things, which does look a lot better in my opinion, but it's this pair. The colorway is white metallic silver sail. Uh, it does have a hang tag thing that is green. It does have secondary laces. Uh, I mean, basically just needs a really good cleanup. You can see like some discoloration and some dirt and stuff like that. So these will get thrown through the laundry system and they should look a lot better, but, but they did have these little spiky things all over it that they cut, which I think actually aesthetically helps these out a little bit. Uh, there is insoles, original everything. I don't really know how much these are going to be worth. I know new, they're not really holding that much value, but Hey, it's a cool looking shoe, I guess, if you're into it, but there you go. Uh, Off-white, women's Nike Zoom Terra Kiger 5. I knew that without looking at the box. Size 11 and a half, Jordan 4 Retro, 30th, 30th anniversary of the Air Jordan 4. This is a good pair and they smell like cigarette smoke, so they are going to be laundered too. Really lightly worn, very little star loss. Got a pair of the teal Jordan 4s. Uh, these are worn. 
That's what I was talking about. Look at the star loss. It's like super minimal. I don't even know if you'll pick it up. But uh, Altal Wear is pretty okay. Does have uh, shoe trees. 30th and the size sticker is in there. But overall wear, a little bit of toe box creasing. They do smell like smoke. I'm not gonna lie. This is in smell vision but I'm not gonna sit here and say they don't smell like smoke. I will be putting them through the laundry system to see if that helps. They will be dry by Friday and on the website for purchasing. These are in good shape. They just need a little bit of help. Size 11 and a half, great size for a Jordan 5, 4 too. Um, teal 4s. Next up, size 12 Jordan 11 Retro Low. These smell a little bit like smoke too, but they're in really great shape. Um, I think it's just like Carolina Blue, University Blue, Jordan 11 Lows. Really great shape. Look at the, there's hardly any toe box creasing whatsoever. Outsole discol discoloration is pretty minimal and outsole wear in general is pretty minimal. You can see there's a full jump man on the insole, which is great. They do have the inserts too, size sticker and everything. Again, they just smell like smoke. They need to be cleaned and they need to be washed. So that's an easy, easy fix. I will say that. Great size, great condition. Just needs a little help, just like the other one, size 12. Jordan 11 Retro Low, Carolinas, nice. Another one. Size 12 Jordan 11 Retro Low. Different colorway though, according to the box. These came from the same seller too because they do smell a little bit like smoke, but they're in really great shape. I don't think these are cherry lows. It just says, it's just University Red Lows. This has a canvas upper and the patent leather though, but this is, I mean, the condition is extremely good. Very little toe box greasing. Outsole wear is pretty minimal. Outsole discoloration is also very minimal. You can see a full jump man in there too. Size sticker, inserts as well. Again, just smells like smoke. Easy fix. Comes with the original box and everything too. Really great colorway. They're releasing a, uh, a high or a regular Jordan 11 in this colorway. I think exact colorway, just with a bluish tinted outsole. So cool. There you go. Size 12. Awesome size. Box is a little bit beat up, but there you go. I want to say Cherry 11 lows. Could be wrong though. Hey, one's a Nike SB. That's good. Size 12 Jordan 16 Retro Trophy Room. Jordan 16s are severely, severely underhyped, if you ask me. I really like the look of a Jordan 16 unsheathed without the cape or whatever, but these are the Trophy Room Jordan 16s. This thing comes off, it's Velcroed, and I think this, I just really like the silhouette without the sheath. It's got a patent leather toe box. Obviously, this is a, uh, a collaboration with Trophy Room, who is uh, a store run by somebody. I don't remember who, but these are in absolutely phenomenal shape. Also wears pretty minimal. Again, they smell a little bit like smoke. Just need to be washed. Not a big deal. Come with the original inserts. Trophy Room logo on the insole is very good. There is an insert still. It's just a little bit beat up. Just needs a quick cleanup. Cannot complain about this. Size 12. There you go. Good shoe. Trophy, trophy, room, trophy room 16s. And this last pair, this is not planned at all. This is pretty cool. One of the last boxes we might, might see for a while. And there is one of these. It is a Nike SB teal and black box. <coughs> Could be a dunk, excuse me. Jordan 1 SP Quick Strike. Woo! That means it's a Lance Mountain release. Very cool. Size 11 too. It's my size. Dang, dude. Cool. So they are worn, but they're in good shape. Come with extra laces and the inserts. Lance Mountain Air Jordan 1s in the white colorway. They released a white and a black colorway of these. You'll see, obviously you might, you might know by now, but if you don't, these are mismatched. This white paint eventually wears off to reveal a bread one and a royal one, which is pretty cool because the story behind it is, is skaters back in the day before there was a Nike SB, they would just skate Jordan 1s because they were very good for, excuse me, very good for skating. Overall, you can see the minimal outsole wear, very little star loss, very little heel drag. There is some uh, dirt that needs to be cleaned off, off the midsole. It doesn't look discolored or anything like that. You can see the paint is all there. I mean, they didn't rub or uh, take any of the paint off, which is really interesting. Comes with the original box, the original paper. Cool. This is just a shoe. With, this is just a good shoe with a good story, and, and there's a reason for it being in existence. Uh, which I think is very cool. They should clean up really well. These are a size 11, so I will be trying them on after I wear, uh, wash them because I may end up keeping them, so we'll see. But this is a really cool pair, a really great end to this box. Size 11, Lance Mountain Jordan 1 SB. And that is your last pair in this $850 Soul Supremacy Beater Box. 
I think this is an excellent box. And I'm not saying that just because I'm jized on the last pair, but I, I genuinely think this is a pretty profitable box. But let's see what the numbers say right now on the breakdown. this is a really great box. Let me scoot over a little bit. I just, I genuinely think this is a really good box. I think the profit on here is probably pretty good. Uh, I need to clean them up first, but they're gonna be cleaned and disinfected and then put up on the website today at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at sbmitch.com. God, I don't remember how to do any of these things. Um, check them out if you really want to. They may sell on GOAT first. I don't really know. As far as the future of the channel goes, I really don't know, guys. Um, if I ever stop doing it, I'll give you a formal announcement. I'm still gonna keep doing them. I just am not in a position to be doing videos in any kind of consistent capacity. At the moment, it may change in the future. If it doesn't, I'll be sure to come back and let you guys know. Either way, I hope you're doing really well. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for vibing and keeping it tight. Yeah, go to the website today or check out eBay or whatever, or say hi to me, please. I just wanna know you guys are okay because I love you. You're all great people and I appreciate the time you take out of your day to watch these dumb ass videos whenever I put them out. So, hey, till next time, whenever it may be, take care of each other. Remember to keep sneakers fun because they're supposed to be fun. Bye. Bye.